Hi everyone! So I am having so much fun with the new Lettering Deluxe SVG set called Oishi and today I will show you how you can use Make the Cut to make this super cute gift tag. Now let's start by launching Make the Cut and we will import the SVG file number 2 from that Oishi set and it's the egg. Next, import from your basic shapes a rounded corner rectangle and you can find it under the miscellaneous tab. Double click on it to bring it to the mat and resize it to well approximately 4 inches wide and the height should be around 2 inches. I'm just eyeballing it and um, it's all approximation, but if you need exact dimensions, it should be around 4 by 2. Let's bring the rectangle over so that it overlaps, so that a corner of it overlaps with the egg. Now to get a better view, let's just zoom out. Okay, now we can do make a now we can make a shadow layer to form the base of the gift tag by selecting the rectangle and holding down your shift key select the egg and now we can do a control H and let's adjust the shadow width to about an eighth of an inch so that's about 0 0.125 now sometimes you can't get the exact number that, that you want so I will just settle for a width that is closest to 1 8 so in this case I will stop scrolling the bar at 0 0.1275 and I will click apply blackout and accept okay so let's do a control A to select all the layers and bring it down lower so we have room to make the little um, tab to string your ribbon or, or thread and to make that tab, let's go back to import basic shapes. Find a circle, double click on it to bring it to the mat, and do a Ctrl H. Now this time, I will check the box next to insert shadow and slide the bar down so that it, it has a shadow width of about 0 0.2. I will click accept. And while the two circles are still selected, I will do a Ctrl J to join both circles together to form a ring. And now I am just going to move this ring so that it overlaps with the rest of the tag. And I'm going to stop right here. And selecting the ring with the shadow of the tag that we created earlier. I will do a Ctrl W to weld it together. So now essentially your gift tag is done. But at this point you can tell that it is it is really big. So for the tag that you saw in the um, in the photograph, I actually did size it down to about four inches wide. And to do that, let's just do a Ctrl A to select all and enter 4 on, on top over here where the width is and hit enter and now your tag is correctly sized and all that is left to do is to separate all the layers arrange your cardstock on your cutting mat and cut away once you cut you assemble and you thread your twine or your ribbon and you should get this okay i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and um, for more ideas you can head back to my blog at undercherrytree.com thanks for watching this video bye